Welcome to the Minimize Theme Quick Start video guide. Uh, we'll be showing you how to set up this Minimize Theme after you've done the installation and you got it all set up on your WordPress uh, website. Once you log into your WordPress website, you'll be at the dashboard. Go ahead and go to Appearance and then Theme Options. This is the page that has all of the Minimize Theme Options that you can configure on the Minimize Free version, uh, where you can upload a logo, show or hide the site tagline, select from two of the free colors that the free version comes from, uh, and from the default font to uh, a, an additional font, Google font, that we included on the free version. Social media tab, you would simply type in your social media links, which will uh, create the social media widget, which we'll discuss. And then the help support section, if you're looking for free help, you can post those questions right on the form. So let's cover the first area that most folks set up first, and that's the menu bar. That's the navigation bar that sits right up top here. Obviously, when you start, uh, when you first install the site, you're not going to have one, and you're going to want to go ahead and set that up in the back end. You go to uh, the appearance section. We'll go to menus, and there is a main uh, menu item name here already set up. If there isn't one, you would create that uh, on this first screen or create new menu. You can create multiple ones and then select which ones you want to to go in here, but. On this demo, we have two pages. We'll go ahead and hit home page and landing page. We're going to hit add to menu. And let me just reorder that. I'm going to hit save menu. And then I'm going to confirm that these that the menu is actually in the location it's supposed to be. And I'm going to switch primary navigation to main. Now, minimize does have three menu locations of footer, the primary nav, and the top navigation. So let's go ahead and hit save on that. We'll go to the front page, home page, refresh, and there you have it. That is the uh, the two pages we added with the navigation up top. So once we get to the home page, you can see the three menus are now all active: the upper navigation, the primary navigation, and then the footer navigation. So let's set up the widgets that are available with Minimize. We'll go to Appearance and then Widgets. By default, we have some here, recent, uh, excuse me, you have categories, archive, recent, and search. Um, so let's just throw some in the primary sidebar. And let's start with the social widget. Let's put that right at the top. And we'll title it social. We'll hit save. Go to the front page and we'll refresh. And you'll see the title, but there's no social links, right? So how do you do that? Well, in minimize, you go to the theme options. Head on over to social media, and we'll just do Twitter as an example. Go ahead and type out the uh, URL of your social of your of whichever social media page you're putting in there. We'll hit save option. Back to the home page, hit refresh, and there's the Twitter icon. Um, and as you add these in in the back end, all those icons will, will appear. You can turn on or off. Uh, RSS and if you have a different custom RSS feed you want to place in here you can do that as well then hit simply simply hit save options to save that and like any other theme widgets are very flexible you can just drag them around and reorder them uh, as you see fit and we'll just put the search and the social at the bottom go ahead and hit refresh and you can see that changes on the home page So how do we change the colors of Minimize? Well, Minimize Free comes with two free colors, and the first uh, being gray. And the second option you have is a blue color. And once you go to the Themes Options page in the back end, simply select Slocum Blue, head down to the bottom, hit Save. Once that's complete, we'll go to the front one more time, hit Refresh. And there you have it. The themes or colors have changed now to a blue uh, with sort of a yellowish gold. Uh, offset and uh, it's just two different colors and if you wanted additional colors uh, you'd have to upgra upgrade to the Minimize Pro theme or simply go into the CSS and edit that yourself. So what does the show or hide site tagline option do? Well let's go look at the front page you can see here the amazing Minimize site title um, and we are going to shut that off by simply switching that to hide, save options, refresh the page and it's gone. Let's talk about the header call to action widget. 
Um, this is where we have a custom widget area right over here to the right of the of the blog title where we have a pre pre-styled call to action block that you can use uh, with the text widget. So we'll add the text widget into the header call to action. And we'll say this is a great theme. You can buy this today. So this widget is pre-styled pre to use the title and the body of this text widget. So when we hit save, we'll refresh the home page. You can see that we've styled the title with a little bit stronger, a little bit bold uh, design. Um, and then the sub call to action text located right below it. Minimize also comes with uh, a four column footer sidebar. And what we're going to do here is I've already pre-populated four widgets, uh, just basic text widgets to show as an example, uh, in the footer sidebar. And we will go to our home page and hit refresh. And you can see that we now have our four widgets located uh, at the, in the footer region. Uh, and then you can have, and we still have our uh, footer navigation still riding below the widgets. The after post widget is perfect for uh, putting in another call to action after your post, wh whether that be an email sign up, uh, a buy my product, or just some additional information or a banner ad, uh, any additional information after a blog post. And you can stack as many widgets here as you need. Um, by default, we just kind of style the text widget to just work in that area. So we just have a simple text widget here. And when we go to the front page, what you'll see here is uh, that text widget right after the post ends. So let's talk about the front page slider. Minimize comes with a, uh, a pre-styled region for the slider, uh, which will appear before the content and right after the navigation. In our example, we've set up Minimize to work with two sliders that are free in the WordPress repository, uh, but you can use anything that you want. You can put other additional text here. You can use other widgets. You may just have to style them if they don't work right out of the box with Minimize. We're, in this example, we're using Soliloquy, which you can find for free in the WordPress repo. Um, and we're going to create a slider in Soliloquy first. So we will hit Add New. Call it Test Slider. And I'm going to upload an image that I already have somewhere. There it is. So we will add that there. We will insert it to slider. Now I'm just going to do one image for right now, just to show as an example. And we're going to resize this to 1100 by 400. That's a good fit. I've actually already resized my image to fit that, but there are some cropping things that you can do with Soliloquy or upgrade to Soliloquy Pro uh, to get some more features. But let's go ahead and hit publish. And this is the important step. Right out of the box, Soliloquy Free does not come with a widget uh, in the widget bar. Now, if you were to upgrade to Soliloquy, you could get that or you could use the PHP call. But we're going to use a short code for now. Then we're going to go to our widget, back to our widget section. Uh, we've installed a plugin called Shortcode Widget, which will allow us to put a shortcode in a widget. So we're going to go ahead and drag that over to the front page slider. No title, but we're just going to paste our soliloquy ID that we copied before. We're going to hit save. Let's revisit the front. Hit refresh. And there's our image. Um, and if you had multiple images, it would be sliding through. And again, you could just have a single static image if you wanted to. Um, some kind of you know, graphic that you've created as a call to action, what have you. Um, but Soliloquy and Slide Deck 2 both work and are both styled to work with Minimize.